What's going on guys? My name is Brandon Hainline, your Jeep informant, and the Mopar all-weather floor mats, just like this, has actually got a new superseded part number and I'm gonna show you the change. Welcome back. Now for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that down below and don't forget to click that bell. Now, why do you need to subscribe and why do you need to click the bell? It's because I bring you the most technical review on the 2018 Jeep JL Wrangler that anyone else does on YouTube. That's why. Now, while you're there, also hit the thumbs up button. So today we're going to be talking about the Mopar all-weather floor mats and why the new superseded part number has changed and how it can affect the Jeep if you don't install them properly. You don't want to end up with a wet floorboard from floor mats. Now it's a rainy and sunny day here in North Carolina and this vehicle has the Mopar all-weather floor mats with the, you know, the seal here that everybody knows about and you know, you wash your floor mats out and drains down in here, oh, everything's great. But this is the problem, okay? I've had a lot of people uh, concerned about water getting in between okay getting in between see here look at this perfect example this one here is not even sealed it's not even sealed on there so this one was just laid on top of there and water is going to go down here that's all fine and dandy but guess what when you're driving down the road or if you go uh deep in water you know you can go up to 30 inches of water in this in this vehicle it clearly states right here on the swing gate that the new jeep jl water forwarding is up to 30 inches of water five miles an hour so now i'm curious how high is 30 inches and if you look closely it comes up to the bottom door hinge now that's definitely higher than the floor pan drain so this is where we could have a problem now, if you remember me telling you, there's a new superseded part number for these floor mats. And this is the old number, the 8221-5203AC. And there's several different ways you can tell that this is the old one. This is one of them by just flipping the mat over, looking at the part number. And the other way is by taking a look at the actual drain plug itself. There is no bridge in the middle, and there is no foam piece around the actual grommet itself. Now let's take a look at the new version, okay? The way we can tell the new version is by flipping the mat over, and you can see the 8221-5203AD. The AD is the new part number. And what changes did they make for that? As you can see here, look at this rubber seal. It's not really rubber, it's more of a foam. And then there's a bridge in the middle of that. Now we'll take a closer look at that here in just a minute. Now, as you can see, the new one has a bridge in the middle. I guess people have dropped stuff down in there and lost it, you know, right down, you know, it's going out to the road is where it's going if it falls down in there. Uh, so they put a little bridge in there to stop that. And also this little foam ring around here. Now, you know, I don't know how well this foam ring is gonna work. So let's take it out to the Jeep and find out. So my issue is this not getting sealed, okay, not here. but here it needs to be sealed right here now i've got a loyal subscriber and a customer here at the dealership that allowed me to take a look at his floor mats and see and compare to the new style to see if it's actually any better so if you take a look up underneath the vehicle you can actually see this drain hole okay and if you look closely it's honestly it's not sealing this is the old one okay it's the old version and it's not really sealing that great let me show you here let me just stick my finger up in this here and try to move it around and i'll show you okay look, look at this you think that's going to keep water out okay now i'm just i'm just pressing on it i'm just pressing down on it. this does not snap in now let's take a look at the passenger side and see how it fits maybe it might fit a little bit better it's pretty solid right there. It's not moving very much. So let's look up underneath the vehicle, kind of in the same area, in the same way we were looking at the driver's side. Now that actually does look a lot better there. It looks like it could actually keep some water out. But let me stick my hand up in there and see if this thing will wiggle around. All right, as you can see here, yep, look at there. This thing, this is not sealed, guys, okay? this this is just a drain from the inside out this is not going to keep water from coming 
up through the actual floorboard from rain, uh, you know, from, from, you know, especially water fording. I mean, 30 inches, it comes all the way up to that, the door. Let's take a look at the new style. See, the new one has this foam around it, okay? Now that's great, that's wonderful, and I'm glad they did that, and they and they should have done that, because it needs to seal around that, because if you don't seal around there, what's gonna happen is when water gets up in this area, water is going to go underneath your floor mat, okay? As you can see, there's already some right there from where I was driving in the rain, okay? And it's just gonna be wet, and you're gonna think, oh goodness, you know, I got the all weather floor mats, everything's great, you got a sopping floorboard underneath here, all right? When you put this floor mat in, okay? You're gonna put your floor mat in right here. You know, you've already cut this thing out. You got the, you got the plug out, and you're gonna put this in. That pops in real nice, and that pops in real nice. That's not in, guys. That is not correct right there. This is not sealed, and yes, you can try to push this down, and it might seem like it's sealed, but it's not. Well, let me show you. And this is how you can check your own. All right, so you see where our problem's at, okay? This is, this is the issue. The hole is, is, is it's not lined up. So I can try to pull this tight. Here we go, that's better. Okay, but there's still it's still not sealing. So if we take a closer look at this, okay, we'll see what the problem is. So, all right, so here is the problem, I think, and it, it, it may be a problem, it may not be a problem, but it just, you know, this little rubber piece here is nice and dandy, but the issue is there's no lip on here. There needs to be a lip on that to where you can pop past it go through it and it snap in there this is just a straight it's just a straight piece okay it's just straight down there's no lip on that and that's a problem that needs to snap in if you take a look at the actual rubber grommet itself it's the same way there's no lip on it so what this tells us is that the grommet here that I'm holding is actually bigger than the floor mat grommet itself that pops down into the floor. So that is smaller and it's not wedging itself in there. Now let's take a look at this again and see what we can do to actually seal this thing up. If this does not seal around this floor pan, water is going to get between the floor pan and the carpet. And you're going to have a stinking mess is what you're going to have. This carpet's going to be wet. I know it's a Wrangler. I know it's meant to have water leaks and supposedly, but man, this thing's $57,000. People are paying $150 for these floor mats. This needs to seal. This needs to seal. All right, so I've got a fix for it and I want to show you exactly what to do. And if you follow these instructions, then, um, you will have no water intrusion between the floor pan and the carpet. So the first thing we're going to need to do, if you've got the new style, okay, then you're going to have to take this foam rubber piece off. I know that might sound silly, you know, but they just put it on there. This is worthless, okay? Good try, Jeep, uh, but this did not, this did not fix nothing, okay? The hole is too big, or the hole is not too big. The plug here is too small. So what we're gonna do here, okay, is I've got, this is called butyl tape. They use this stuff for windshields, okay? I'm gonna take a section of it. I think it's somewhere around seven inches, I think. I measured out earlier. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Let's run this around. It's about right there. All right. I'm going to peel this off. 
And what this is going to do, okay, this is going to allow this to completely be sealed. And you're going to depress down on it one, one hard time, and it's going to seal it. And you're not going to be pulling up and down on it and everything else. So let's see how this works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in. As you can see, we've got the butyl tape there. Okay, and we're going to just snap this on there. I'm going to snap that on there. And we're going to take this, you can see it's kind of bulging up right there. And we're just going to take this, and just give it one nice, good <sighs> press down, okay? Now, let's take a look at it from up underneath and see what it looks like. <sighs> All right, now look at that. Now that is sealed, okay? Look at that, that looks so much better. Now if you wanna talk about a seal, that's a seal. Now I'm gonna stick my fingers up here and I'm gonna to try to pull up on it. Look, it's as solid as a rock. This is not coming up, okay? I can push down on it, it barely moves. All right, you can see there's more there on this front side than the back side because that's where the larger the gap was at. But there is no water gonna get between the floor pan and the carpet now now this is what it's supposed to do this is how it should be it should be a nice tight seal all the way across there okay now I know it looks a little bit nasty there on the left big bulging out but that's where the biggest gap is at okay all right guys I want to do this two different ways um, I've got two seven inch strips of this butyl tape now this is uh, three M butyl tape it's a it's quarter inch in diameter and I got it uh, seven inches long and seven inches will go directly around here it's just enough to, to make it fit okay I'm gonna offer I'm gonna go out on a limb here and offer these two strips just the two strips on the website jeepinformant.com for $5.95 obviously it's free shipping uh, to anywhere here in the United States now I'm also going to offer the floor mats, okay? Now I've got the floor mats on the website also for $149.95. And honestly, guys, that's actually kind of high. I mean, they're on Amazon right now for $108 on eBay for like $113. Guys, that's super duper cheap. Go for it. If you want to buy them on Amazon, go for it. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, you know, my pleasure. Don't feel obligated to buy them from me. But if you do purchase them from me, uh, they are going to have this on it. This is the new AD number. But uh, I'm, I went ahead and took that strip off of there and added this butyl tape to it. So if you do purchase a set of floor mats from uh, the website, then it will come already installed there. You would just need to pull off this little piece right here and then you know wedge it down like I showed you in the video. Now for those of you that have the older mats and the newer mats, you know, neither one of them seal. So, you know, you're, you're gonna need something like this. You don't have to use this. You can come up with your own um, method of madness, you know. This is just something I've come up with. This stuff works really good for uh, water leaks and um, I've been using this stuff for a long time. It's actually for windshields is what it's actually for to hold a, a backlight in or a windshield so this stuff's super duper good uh, if you do purchase it if you do purchase the two seven inch pieces of butyl tape I will uh, send this uh, document sheet on the, the MSDS sheet with it so you will have the product knowledge on what the product is guys if you have any questions or comments about these items please feel free to comment, email me, whatever you need to. Don't feel like you have to uh, purchase uh, these floor mats from me by any means. I do have them on the website, but uh, they are, uh, you know, full pop. So, you know, because 
I don't know how these guys are, are doing it at $108. That's nuts. Um, that's actually cheaper than what I actually paid for these. So they're obviously buying them in bulk. Guys, I want to thank every one of you for watching this far. I know this was kind of a long video, but I really felt that I needed to uh, to let everyone know about this not sealing the right way and offer you a way to seal it the correct way the way it should have been done the first time now i'm not saying that the butyl tape is the most perfect thing this is just a home remedy now make sure you check everything out on the website i've got some of those nice absorbed chamois on there for your brand new car make sure you get your touch-up paint for your for uh the, the touch-up paint color for your specific jl all right, I got some pretty cool hats on there, and guys, I'm, I'm getting new stuff all the time. If there's something that you would like to see on there, please let me know. If there's something that's not right or something that I could do better, let me know also. Like I said, this is my first rodeo. Never had a website before, so I'm learning. So thanks, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.